Hi everybody. So um, this video was sent to me by I think he's one of my new subscribers named Frank B. So shout out to you Frank B for sending this to me in my comment section. Um, what I'm going to do is anytime that anyone um, sends me something I'll cover those first or I'll do my best to cover those um, requests first before I cover the, um, the other articles and stuff that I've already found on my own. Um, but I'm going to try to get to those um, as soon as I can also. Um, but uh, one of the main reasons why I wanted to cover this one too was because it did um, it did affect me more so than the other thing. Not that the other things didn't affect me, but I guess because I actually saw this. And to me, when I saw the, when I saw the man um, who was being assaulted the way that he was, he did kind of... Uh, resemble to me people in my family I guess so that it, it did make me feel a certain way and I did get somewhat emotional when I saw it so but I'm just gonna go ahead and play it for you guys and then I'll give more of my um, opinions on it afterwards Washington County Jail deputy is facing misconduct charges after a violent incident and now we have video of the confrontation which left a man with brain injuries Fox Wayne Garcia joins us live in studio with the details. Also, Wayne, a shocking video on all this. It is. It is very violent. Washington County Deputy Ryan Alden is on administrative leave. On Friday, he was indicted by a grand jury on one count of official misconduct, stemming from a use of force incident that happened back in 2018. Okay, take a look at the video. The man in the white t-shirt is Albert Molina. He was arrested in late March of 2018 for allegedly riding a bicycle while under the influence. After being patted down, he is told to stand against the wall for a photo, and that's where things get violent. The sheriff's office claims that Molina started to make rude gestures and use aggressive language. Then Deputy Alden rushes Molina, slamming his head against the wall, then hitting him to the ground, right there. The sheriff's office claims Molina was trying to start a fight. Molina's lawyer says that's ridiculous. He clearly in the video is standing, uh, and the officer starts charging and grabs his neck while he's still standing against the door, slams his head against the back of the door, and then slams his face down onto the ground. He says Molina was left with two skull fractures, a broken nose, and brain bleeding, and now has a permanent brain injury. An investigation was previously conducted, but at the time, the DA's office said they lacked the evidence to prosecute. Well, the case was reopened this month after the sheriff's office says it got a concerning email claiming that Alden wrote something online that contained racial epithets back in December of 2003. Molina's attorney says this was clearly racially motivated. The DA's office tells us they plan now to resubmit the case to the grand jury in the near future. At that point, Molina's attorney hopes to present evidence for a more serious felony assault charge against that deputy. Live in studio, Wayne Garcia, Fox Football Board. Alright, so yeah, that was it. And, uh, you know, as you can see, the man was just, you know, all he was doing was, you know, he was probably talking shit. You know, he was up against the wall. He looked like he was talking shit. He was probably under the influence. That was kind of the impression that I got that they made the, they made it seem as though the man was under the influence, which doesn't matter. Um, that's not the point. I'm just saying that that's probably the reason why he was talking smack the way that he was. But that doesn't, you know, validate anything that... Um, that the officer did to him basically as you could see um, and I know that this is somewhat uh, a little bit of an older video because as you um, heard this happened in 2018 but still nonetheless I, I figured with everything else that I'm talking about um, within the past couple of days I figured that this is still pretty prevalent and again you know this happened nobody heard about this and again this is all the way from 2018 i'm hearing about it i'm hearing about it now so anyhow um yeah so i'm gonna do my best to see if i could get um at least another video or out you know maybe today tonight maybe tomorrow um i'm gonna do my best but even today i i wasn't even gonna be able to get this one so surprisingly i <laughs> i uh had the time to to do it today um because i wasn't supposed to but um anyway again feel free to leave me um 
video suggestions in uh, my comment section and I'll get to it as soon as I can. And as always, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.